In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on these two foundations. Now, these are both by Unique, and Unique is very highly talked about. It is an MLM network, but I am not a part of them. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that recently I was talking about foundations. Um, my summer foundation no longer matches me, so I was on the hunt for a new foundation. So I had a friend reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to check out these foundations. She asked for a picture so that way she could color match me. And the color that she said that I was was lace. So I'm gonna be trying the Unique Stick Foundation and the Spray Foundation. So I'm gonna do this in two parts. Today I'm gonna be trying the Stick Foundation and then tomorrow when I do a video, I'm gonna try the Spray Foundation. But it's gonna all be in the same video. The thing about my skin right now is that it's winter here in New Jersey and my skin has been pretty dry. The only thing that I applied was a serum and a spray. Right now I don't have a moisturizer. I'm on the hunt for one. So if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. So on camera, I feel like it looks a little bit more yellow, but in person it looks like it matches. When I first got these foundations, I did swatch them on my hands to see the color and the consistency and I was a little bit worried about the stick because it seemed like it would be maybe a little bit too dry on my skin but now that I am applying it, it doesn't feel dry at all. It feels very, very creamy and I'm liking it. So again, on camera this looks a little bit different but I feel like in person it doesn't look that much different. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup. And I'm going to see how this foundation wears until the end of the day. I'm really interested to see like if it oxidizes at all um, and how it holds up on my skin. But so far, I really like this foundation. It's very creamy. It doesn't look like it's stuck to certain parts of my face, which I've noticed with some foundations that happens. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, see how this wears, and then I'll check back in at the end of the day. It is the end of day, and I wanted to show you guys how my makeup held up throughout the day. So as you can see, it did start to wear in certain areas but keep in mind I didn't wear a primer I just wanted to see how the foundation performed by itself I mean these days I honestly don't really wear a primer so on my face it held up pretty good on my nose you can see it separating that's also where my like skin is the driest and I have the most texture what I can say about this foundation I would definitely use it again I would say it's definitely better than a lot of drugstore foundations, but I do want to try the spray foundation. I'm excited for that one. I honestly think I'm going to like that one more. That's why I did this one first, and now I'm going to do the spray tomorrow since I'm going to be filming. So, All right, so today I'm going to be trying the Unique Spray Foundation. Again, this is in the color Lace. Let me just read the directions first. It says to shake product vigorously for optimal results spray onto a unique brush and apply it in circular motions gently dab areas that require more coverage so i'm going to spray it let me put my hair back all right so i'm going to spray it onto a kabuki brush this is a crown brush it's not unique or anything it's really cold oh my god probably because it's been sitting on my desk and it's right in front of a window. So far it's pretty light coverage, which I like. I don't feel as though I need a lot of foundation. I want to spray it onto my face and see how it applies that way. Oh my god, it's so cold! I like it better on the brush. As far as this foundation, it is more of a buildable foundation. I would say more light to medium. I'm not mad at it though because I don't feel as though I need a heavy foundation. I did have to spray this several times and there was some after spray so I feel like it doesn't all go onto the brush. So I don't know if that's wasting product at all or if you'll use this, if you'll end up running out of it sooner. But I do like this one so far more than the stick. The stick is a little bit more full coverage versus the spray. I'm definitely still going to have to apply um, concealer because you can definitely still see through it. Usually foundation, like I just feel like it covers my under eyes a little bit better. So with the spray, I thought it would be a little bit creamier, but on my dry skin, it seems to be a little bit drier. Like I could see a little bit of texture on my forehead. 
those are all the, my first impressions of it again i'm gonna do my makeup i have a video to do today so i'm gonna do full glam and i will check back in at the end of the day so that way you guys can see how it holds up so it is the end of day after wearing the spray foundation and with this foundation as well there's a lot of texture around my nose both foundations did this to me so it's probably something with me like i need to exfoliate that type of thing my forehead doesn't look as bad but like my cheeks are fine my chin is fine it's just really my nose so there's pros and cons to each one, and I'm going to talk about that tomorrow, so. So as far as the pros when it comes to the stick, it's definitely more buildable, and it's very creamy. I thought it would be a little bit more dry. My makeup did not stick to it. Like, you know how sometimes when you apply your bronzer, it sticks to it? Didn't do that. As far as the pros to the spray, I really like the fact that it was light coverage. I think this is the perfect everyday foundation for myself. I don't like really heavy foundation, especially when I'm doing things like this, like when I'm doing videos, like I just, I don't know, when I'm home, I don't want that full coverage heavy makeup. When I go out to an event, maybe, but this is going to be my go-to foundation going forward I actually wore it again today as far as the cons the only thing that i can say is that i did see a little bit of texture on my skin um this one separated a little bit more on my face than the spray but the reason why it separated and there was so much texture on my skin is because i didn't exfoliate so today i did exfoliate and there's no texture on my nose or my forehead and that is with the spray so i definitely think that was more of a me problem than the foundation so overall i really like these foundations i definitely like the spray more like i said just because it is more on the lighter side and i think it's a great everyday foundation so if you are on the hunt for a new foundation i would definitely check these out give them a try i'm gonna leave my friend leslie's link in the description box if you guys purchase through her, just know that you are helping another mom out and your support is greatly appreciated. I know I haven't posted any makeup videos in a long time. If you guys want to see more makeup videos, give this video a thumbs up. If you are new, subscribe right here and I'm going to leave some older videos right here.